Shedding aside their political differences, Prime Minister Modi sat across leader of opposition, Malikarjun Kharge, for a millets-only lunch. Soon after a face-off in the parliament after Kharge's dog and mouse jibes at the PM, Modi tweeted how much he enjoyed the sumptuous lunch cutting across party lines. Why is India's Prime Minister batting for the grain? Millets have always been a part of the Indic civilization from times immemorial. The wonder grains come with multiple benefits. And people who are from the kapha, the pitta dosha or who have blood disorders, they have been recommended to consume millets. Millets are the magic food crops, nutritionally very rich. Much like turmeric latte, which caught the fancy of fitness enthusiasts uh, some years back, our humble Bajra, Ragi and Jowar have now acquired a cult following. That millets have always been a part of the Indic civilization from times immemorial. For example, if you look at our Vedas, the Yajur Veda has the reference of three different kinds of millets being used, the Priyangav, the Anav and the Shamak. Millets were among the earliest plants to be domesticated as food. These grains have been a traditional food source for hundreds of millions of people in Africa and Asia for more than 7,000 years. Their evidence is found in the Indus Valley Civilization as well. India is one of the largest producers and exporters of millets. Uh, grows Jowar, Bajra, Ragi as traditional millets and it also grows tiny millets like um, foxtail, finger millets and small millets. Dryland farmers also grow two varieties of pseudo millets, which includes the buckwheat or the kutu and amaranthus or chulai. India is among the top five exporters of millets in the world. We exported millets worth 64.28 million US dollars in 2021 2022 against 59.75 million US dollars in 2020 2021. During 2018 2019, Three millet crops, Bajra, Joar, and Ragi, accounted for about 7% of the GDP in the country. In a changing climate, in agriculture, millets hold a lot of promise. Millets are the climate resilient, less water consuming, very important crops, very prevalent in India at an earlier point now again being popularized. I think they are sturdy ones first because they have survived 4,500 years without alterations and mutations. I consumed millets as I grew up. Today, millets are part of India's food cycle. But when rice and wheat came into the picture, millets became small cereals. And if you look at the culture, if you look at the uh, you know, practices, beliefs of people in remote parts of the country where they're still following the Indic practices, you will see that millets have been used very widely there. However, millets have always been a part of our life. In villages in Uttarakhand, people still make uh, kodo or mandua roti with, you know, using water and patting the, you know, floor or the dough again and again and they cook it over the ulta tawa, you know, the opposite end of the tawa on a slow fire, you know, made with the local chulha. Indian government under Prime Minister Narendra Modi is promoting millets in a big way. The minimum support price was announced for millets very recently, but procurement of millets by the government has to be made mandatory. That is when it will become part of, a, of our food distribution system. India proposed that 2023 be the year of millets. And in the UN General Assembly, many countries supported India's proposal for celebrating 2023 as the year of millets. The wonder grains come with multiple benefits and it isn't just my gut feeling. Actually, it's so much rich in fiber, uh, both soluble and insoluble, which really helps the gut and digestive system, very rich in high protein and antioxidant properties are also there. It helps to control the weight. It helps in uh, for menstruational cramps too. 
and uh, it helps in controlling the diabetes and uh, it gives uh, helps to prevent the colon cancers and it helps to uh, just uh, prevent the heart diseases too people people who have asthma chronic asthma patients instead of consuming wheat or rice i would definitely recommend millets as grains for them because it makes the breathing 50% easier and there's been a research around it also there's been a recent study which has also talked about the millets uh, being very beneficial for hypothyroidism in totality so obesity that is induced sometimes due to hormonal imbalances for that millets are the grand remedy i would say that for the other health benefits from millets opinion is divided why in naturopathy we hesitate to use grains is because grains by nature are acidic and again that includes the whole category of millet um i don't agree much with anybody who says that millets are not acidic they are the sprouting process is what takes out that acidic thing from any grain certain combinations with millets that don't go well for example certain millets should not be consumed with milk or dairy otherwise if you you know uh, temper the millet with a lot of ghee it works very well for most of the body types uh, in summers i would recommend maybe you know ragi to be used more and uh, you can also go for jowar pops but other millet should be preferably consumed majorly during the winter season the breakfast time is a good time to consume millet making the dosas of ragi dosa uh, bajre ka dosa bajre ka uh, namkeen and murmura you can introduce cakes pancakes you can make and uh, idlis are there and uh, bajre ki khichdi chapatis barley water there are so many ways to introduce in the diet I think the best way is to start with jowar pops very easy like a popcorn and you can also do uh, ragi laddus the traditional laddus which we make at home with the wheat flour we can use the similar recipe for ragi we can use the premixes too as well and within 3 to 1 to 3 months you should use it i'm a woman of convenience so if you have millets which are available off the shelf great to start with however unpolished millets are recommended more in ayurveda anything that is going to come out of a packet has certain additives because they have to increase the shelf life like that's a given um so if you have a choice i would say use something which is not coming out of a packet like that and you are kind of going through the process in your own kitchen the government is providing a fresh push to the humble millets but it still has a long way to go before it replaces the staple wheat and rice If millets like bajra, ragi and jowar script another success story don't be amazed